We are riding the watching of the storm out with Sydney this morning. Oh, yes. Sydney, what's going on here? Yeah, this has been quite the storm, just watching it unfold. It's all happening quickly. Of course, all the evacuations. It's hard to evacuate Florida, the one way in, one right. way That's out. The point. So they're dealing with all of that there. It's just awful to see what Helene did. And now you, we're talking Category 4? Oh, yeah. Oh. Category 4 right now at landfall, anticipated to be a Category 3. So watching this unfold hasn't been good. But here at home, we do have more quiet conditions. And that's okay. good news okay. as we head out and about for our Tuesday. So sun comes up for at 650 and by 613, that's when the sunset is. But by the time that October 15th rolls around, which isn't that far off, about a week from today, we're going to be seeing uh, our last six o'clock sunset. So get ready for that. Some changes, fall changes. And what's coming with that is definitely going to be cooler air as well. You'll notice the, the cooler temperatures that we're going to have out there by the middle and end of the week. As far as visibility goes, as you're heading out the door, Bedford, one mile of visibility and same with Norwood areas in southern New Hampshire do have some dense fog from orange to keen uh, seeing that dense fog there otherwise though it's good to go so this is patchy as far as the visibility is concerned those temperatures middle 40s further west that you go further west that you go 44 in Bedford 46 for Fitchburg 53 in Boston a little bit warmer if you're heading out the door in Boston this morning and as we head out and about for our day those temperatures make their way to the middle 60s for the most part a lot of sunshine so if you happen to have the day off or if you're going to be taking a stroll in the morning or the evening just gorgeous conditions maybe a little bit on the cooler side with those highs topping out at 65 for Boston 65 for Fitchburg and 65 for Lawrence so our next few days Temperatures in the middle 60s as far as Wednesday is concerned, but look at Thursday. That's definitely going to be the coolest day we've seen so far this season. Upper 50s for those temperatures, and then middle 60s do return as we head through our day on Friday. So gorgeous Friday and a gorgeous weekend. That's after the rain that we saw yesterday. So, so far since September 1st, we've only gotten in on less than two inches of rain. We're not shaping up to be close to normal, and there is uh, abnormally dry conditions for many of us out there for most of us and even a moderate drought in spots. So while we need the rain, these nice days are definitely welcomed for sure. Uh, and we're going to be keeping it that way with clouds building into our Thursday and not much as far as rain chances go as we really head through the next 10 days. Possibly a spotty shower coming with those clouds on Thursday and on the other side of that, that's when we're going to be seeing those temperatures uh, really starting to drop off. So upper 50s for Thursday, middle 60s as we head through Friday. That sunshine is going to be abundant Friday and Saturday. Saturday actually looks to be the best on the 10-day forecast. It's rare that that happens, so we, we got to talk about it. 70 degrees, we're back to the 70s, and it's the only 70-degree temperature on the 10-day forecast with lots of upper 50s as we head into next week.